All right, that should be good for now. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different for our three different circuits. All right. So rather than just being three things of biceps, and then three things of triceps, and then three things of sh shoulders, we're going to do them in terms of difficulty. So we're going to do a bicep, a tricep, and, and a shoulder workout for low weight, high reps. Middle weight, or middle weight, or middle reps. And then high weight for low reps on the last circuit. So we're going to vary between those. You see what I mean? Yeah. What's up? You seem concerned. This seems a lot more complicated than it really needs to be. Really throwing that hunter flare in. Thank you. All right. Today is the 24th. So then what are we looking at for uh, actual workouts? So for the first workout, I'm thinking we just do some plain Jane alternating bicep curl. Okay. From there, we'll go into shrugs. Shrug. I thought uh, shoulders was last. Not unless you want to do... So here, let me ask then. Do you want to do it just bicep or bicep circuit, tricep circuit, shoulder circuit? Or do you want to do the low getting higher? Well, I'm fine with that, but I thought it was bicep into tricep into shoulder. No, you, shoulder. you can switch it around however you want. Okay. It, yeah. It, the bicep, tricep, shoulders is just quicker. Again, this just seems needlessly complicated. Okay. And then triceps, we'll just do a plate press. Plate press? Mm-hmm. Being... So that would be... Plate... Press. Oh, standing, skull skull, crush. standing Skull Crusher. Sure. You're just changing the names, man. And then that will be the first circuit. We'll decide weights on after. Then for the second circuit, let's go with... I'm torn between bar curl or what? Oh, you just, uh, I want to make the workout today really complicated. And that was where the thought ended. <laughs> no planning after that. It's just like, yeah, let's make it complicated today. I'll figure it out when I get there. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, we'll do a uh, bar curl. Okay. Then we'll go into tricep dips. And then we'll do some side front mounts. All right, and then last set will be for the heavies. We'll do just regular bite. We'll do hammer curls, actually. Into, you'll do dumbbell press and I'll do kettlebell press. And then for the last one on the shoulders. We just did shoulder. Oh, you are correct. I'm sorry. Not thinking. I know. Skull crushers. Right. So we want higher weight or lower weight, higher reps. So I'm thinking of doing alternate bicep 24 40. Shrugs, uh, probably just 115. 420. Play press will be 35. And we're starting out for, low weight, high reps. Yeah. 
bar curl. What is this bar? I use tens. 30 shrugs 45 pounds again 30 standing skull crusher 60 probably 20 pounds and I'll go for 20 Still. Tricep dips. So I'm to practice with them. I'll go for 15. What do I usually do for Side bar curl? Lance. Oh, that's going to be a pain. 15 times 10. Hammer curls, 45. What exactly are the options for bar curls? For bar curl? Yeah. Like weight wise? Yeah. Because well, yours is weird. We can, we can adjust it. I know we can adjust it. Or you That's can what do I'm asking. The 45 Olympic bar. Okay. Elbow. Go for 10. It's not a 55, it's a 50. Hammer girls. Go for 10. Skull Crushers, 60. Okay. Oh, so what's up with you, man? You seem agitated today. Oh, I'm not intended. I, I don't intend to. Just always the, uh, the needless added complication of things that you like to add. Shoulder press, probably. I'll go 35. Did you eat already? No. Okay. I have lasagna at home. Okay. So it's already cooked. I'm going to set this up. And you said you want three rounds of each of these? Um, part of me wants to, but that part of me is kind of crazy. So I'm going to say two rounds each. Okay, so it's six rounds. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, we'll stick to one. That's gone too much. Okay. Yeah, I'll get started on the uh, alternating dose of four.
you shrugging the same way? No, I'm shrugging 45 pounds. Because this is the light one. Okay. Exercise. It's the over, it's the yeah, standing, uh, standing, scroll, standing pressure. scroll pressure. Is that tannins are found in plants uh -huh. and are found in tea. Yes. Is that about it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's a couple different types of tannins. Uh, there's tannins, one type is found in things like teas. Another type is actually found in coffee. Oh. Um, teas, they are the one... The type found in teas are called flavin 3 3 alls Okay. Usually referred to as flavanols. Um, probably something that I, I suppose should be mentioned. The main purpose of tannin in plants is that it's a natural pesticide. I was going to say, most things that we like are pesticides. Um... However, flavanols, and I didn't look too much into the one in coffee, but the flavanols in tea are actually considered an anti-nutrient. What they do is they precipitate uh, specifically proteins. Okay. What that means is when you have a solution of something, uh -huh. everything is dissolved. Yes. When the tannins precipitate the protein, it basically, for lack of a better word, this isn't the real word, it undissolves it. It binds to the protein and removes it from the solution and settles at the bottom. If you've ever had, you know, a thing of creatine and you let it sit for a few minutes, usually there's that layer at the bottom that you just can't seem to get to, to get rid of and remix yeah. in. That's, that's a precipitate. Okay. Um... So what that does is that, in turn, actually hinders uh, absorption of nutrients because it removes the nutrients, it binds to nutrients and removes it from any solution 
making it more difficult for it to actually be absorbed. Um, Now, with that being said, most tannins can actually be neutralized through cooking. Okay. Um, though not all of them. Uh-huh. What am I doing after this? Tricep dips. Oh, fuck. Shit. So, yeah. Uh, they are related to caffeine in the sense that they are found in things that, in some things that have caffeine. And that's about it. It's not a dip, it, it's not like, well, creatine is an amino acid. Right. And, uh, whey protein is an amino acid. Sir, I don't think that's middle weight, middle reps. You're not reacting as though it's middleweight in the rest. No, I'm just tired already. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, so tannins do not have any kind of, uh, shall we say, caffeine or energizing effect. So why do they compare them to Because caffeine? you read an article. Yes, I know, but I've, I've been referred by people, even you were referring me to, ca to tea. Is that just like a common misconception then? I never referred you because of the tannins. I referred you to tea because I think tea is good and tasty. And also it has a lower caffeine content than coffee. Are you going low enough? I'm going as low as I can right okay. now. Okay, I, I was just asking. Um, so yeah. And, and there's a lot more details to it than just that, but that's kind of the cliff notes. That's the, and, and I got all that just from the Wikipedia page, which should not be cited as a source itself, but it does have a series of sources, so um, highly recommend you, uh, anyone who's more interested to go and uh, look further into it, check out those sources. But yeah, there's... Yeah. Okay. Uh, it well, should also be noted that the teas that it's found in are traditional like tea leaves, yellow tea leaves, black tea leaves, green tea leaves, uh, things like uh, mint. I don't think necessarily has tannin. Uh, I think it actually relates to the cap. I think it is related to caffeine to some extent. Uh -huh. But yeah, tannins actually used quite often for tanning leather. I knew it was for tanning because it, leather. It, it draws out that protein. I just didn't realize it was. I think the word you're looking for is a coagulant. I'm not really looking for the word. Well, a coagulant would be something like cornstarch. Because um, it doesn't necessarily coagulate a solution. It doesn't mix into a solution to make it thicker to what it does is it binds to things in a solution and pulls it out i wouldn't call you know a creatine shake a coagulate. coagulated because it's yeah. just settled it's precipitated that's yeah. what precipitate means it just means to fall yeah so it falls out of the No, solution. I know. I'm just trying to think of what term that would be for pulling specific things out. Because the only thing I Precipitating. Could... I guess. Yeah, that, that, that's it. It literally just referred to because it makes it fall to the bottom. It binds, pulls it out of the solution, and falls and settles. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Basically done. settling. Settling. There you go. There we go. There we go. I accept those terms. I accept that word. Some don't, but I do. Okay. So no workout Wednesday, right? Okay. 
which works well with your uh, meetings. I don't have any meetings this week. So. Oh, fuck off. Hey, Tom. First, of course you don't. First and third of the month on Wednesdays is when I, I thought it was just Wednesdays. Man. Oh, whatever. How many meetings are you doing? Fifteen. That'll be good. I am feeling good so far with this. I'm not. Why not? Because I'm imagining the description that I'm going to have to put down for the video. <laughs> I'm not putting... No, I, I will feel good about it because I'm just not going to put anything in the description. There you go. Side front lats. Yep, side front lats. Which I will do with the thought. Do I do it with the tent? Uh, I'm not going to be able to do as many as I was planning with the tent. Well, I took pauses in between at every five, so you can do the same. You want me to move it? <sighs> there you go. Yeah, it's deceptive how close you can be in front of the mirror. Oh, good news. Uh, I need your uh, taste buds to try some new sauce, too. I made it correctly this time. Not to say I didn't make it wrong the last time, I just... Did you store it in the fridge this time, perhaps? I was told letting... not to. By whom? The video I saw on how to oh properly seal it. I watched multiple videos on how to do it. I'm supposed to leave it undisturbed for 24 hours. And then I can refrigerate it. Look, man, I looked it up. I did all the research this time. If there's anything wrong, I, it's something that I did with you the mixture. You just don't listen to me. Also, I... I've seen your research, and it involves comparing tannins to caffeine. Yes, but this time I actually did research. I watched multiple videos on how to do it. Okay. Joey's telling me something. He's making some good points. I'm going to go Would it make someplace you feel better else. if I only left it so, out for a when, certain amount of time? When they said uh, that it didn't taste right, did they say specifically it tasted sour? They didn't taste sour, they just said it tasted like it went bad. So, I can assume that's what they meant. That's what I would... Uh, I also Cade, added less garlic. Cade threw me for a loop, I tell you what. <laughs> when he said it tasted fine. But also, it's Cade, and I don't trust him cooking. I've seen him eat peaches. I have also seen him eat peaches. I've seen you make apple crisps, and I've seen you him eat peaches. So I, I, I don't know about those taste buds. Still, I don't... I, without hearing Sammy and Peter's actual, like, uh, opinions on it, I really don't want to say anything. Since the only opinions I saw were yours and Cade's, so I, I must concede. Even though I don't want to. But I just don't understand. It will also help, because the one that you tried was out for a couple days. I know. This one, I, I did read up on how to properly store it now. And the thing was, when I sealed the last ones, all I did was cap them while they were warm and then let them cool. So what I did this time, per what I read and watched, was that I need to let it cool first, which I did. I let it cool in the pan. 
till I could stick my finger in mm. and not be burned. Yeah. Then actually warm the jars in hot water. Yes, that is correct. And then I have them sitting in there. Okay. They're okay. sealed upside down. Okay, that actually is correct because that's what you do for canning. Yeah, I like jar that, them. That is correct to to actually can them. I wasn't I didn't think you would be canning them, so I, I was giving you the easier short term. But that is how you properly can things like tomato sauce. Or even things like, you know, any kind of preserves. You heat up the jar. Yeah. And so the that, lid. Yeah, and the lid so that uh, it seals upon itself. Yep. Without superheating the, uh, the sauce. Of course, salt helps too. I add more salt. Oh. Not too much, but I added more. Because I tasted as I went this time. Oh man, I'm genuinely surprised by that. I don't even know how to. I, I'm not. It ah. sounds. It sounds sarcastic. I'm genuinely surprised. I didn't let my heart guide me this time. It's led me to the wrong places too many times. There's nothing wrong with using feeling while cooking. The problem is you can't be numb. You have to be able to actually feel. I, I think it tasted pretty good last time, too. I know. That's what I mean. You, when you use feeling to cook, you have to have some semblance of reality. By the, do you want to put on your... Sir, do you want help? No. I wish to suffer for my sins. Shut the fuck up, Ed Borg. Do you just want some help? No, I'm good. <sighs> no, I was just trying to get around this ball. You've been weeble, weeble wobbling. Yeah. Except you're about to actually fall down. can sit. I would recommend sitting. Oh wait. This is meant to be equated to the uh, One. shoulder press thing. Actually set this up right to have a good angle. Oh, that's a good enough angle. Yeah, I was worried. We got this. That was four, but I had done two at once for the first one. You're fine. So, just to clarify, I didn't do the full five I was going to do. Okay, it's full crap. Yep. I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, nine different workouts. Okay. It seems like we end up doing just more running around than the actual dedicated workout. workout. Yeah. So our 
go for the chest circle. We'll do something different. Or we'll probably keep it all to chest. Well done. Let me, uh, next week for arms, let me, let me organize what we do. Sure. I'm more than welcome to any input. So yeah, there's, there's your, uh, information for tannins that I've been keeping you weighted with bated breath for. Um. Back to water. And ginger and lemon. Oh, ginger tea. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, like I said, uh, black tea has coffee or caffeine. Yeah. Again, it's still less, but if you get a breakfast tea, the reason that's called a breakfast tea yeah. is because you have it at breakfast I, with caffeine. Yeah, uh, stop the recording then when you're ready. Oh, boy. That's always a good sign. All right. Oh. There we go.